Hello and welcome to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kirk Capra, and Pristine Trading. And as always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition, keep in mind that Pristine offers a number of free webinars throughout every week. Here's a list of some of our upcoming webinars that you can attend, so feel free to register for any and all that interest you. All right, let's take a look at where things are at here in the Forex market, and of course, with the global sell-off, we've had quite the volatility. It's been quite an exciting morning, to say the least, and so let's take a look at how this is impacting the daily charts. Starting in the upper left with the euro US dollar, we can see just an incredibly strong move as it is here setting up right now today. But this is coming on the heels of a pattern that we teach in our course, uh, which is known as a pristine buy setup within transition A. So, um, you know, with, with the proper training and knowing what to look for, this is a move that one could have exploited from from the higher low here and on the way up. Uh, furthermore, there's been plenty of intraday opportunities as well. So uh, it will be very interesting to see how we close here today and what kind of movements take place following this kind of a uh, wide range type day, acceleration type day, but very, uh, very exciting nonetheless. Moving on over, Aussie US dollar here in the upper middle chart, we can see this uh, sell off initially, but we are coming back up at this point. This is all within the context of a downtrend, so none of the moves that we're really getting here at this point are out of the norm. In other words, it's not something that we wouldn't or shouldn't have expected it's all within the context of the trend so here we've got a downtrend in place yeah we had this volatility at the prior low but everything was staying weak and as we've discussed in previous videos Aussie US dollar is in a downtrend in bigger picture and has plenty of room to continue falling and so we've gotten some follow through there and we'll see how as I said this continues to develop Moving on over to New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar in the upper right. Once again, sideways movement, but within the context of uh, a downtrend bigger picture. Right? We had this move up towards the top of resistance, and boom, big sell-off initially. Again, the reaction with, with the global sell-off. You know. So at this point, we are seeing a bit of a recovery here. We'll see how much more it recovers, if at all and then assess the situation and go forward. If, if we get a large bottoming tail here, we could be looking at a, you know, a significant bottom being put in place here. So we'll have to see, and of course we'll update it with future videos as well. US dollar yen, bottom right, uh, huge massive daily candle lower. Um, tried to move up here last week, failed. Boom, big sell-off, and this is just kind of the um, icing on the cake, so to speak. All right, we're getting this big washout here. A lot of traders just throwing in the towel that had been long. And so uh, longer term, we'll see what kind of implications this has. But what we really need to do is see how this week kind of settles in, uh, how we end up looking and finishing this week, and then we'll have a better idea of where we may be headed. But this is obviously... Uh, hugely impacting the overall picture but again we'll assess that in a future video don't want to get into that right now until we really see the the full nature of this information because it is somewhat fresh and new you know uh, as of this recording the US markets haven't even opened yet and uh, so we'll see what happens once they do get open and close and everything starts to settle down Moving on over, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, basically unaffected, just steadily moving higher, continuing within this uptrend. And at this point, no reason to think it won't continue to do that. So bullish bias overall, uh, just following the trend, which is what we want to do 90 plus percent of the time anyway. 
pound U.S. dollar, you know, nice little spike higher, finally breaking out of this range. It, it seemed like forever. It, it just wanted to happen, wanted to happen, wanted to happen, but it couldn't. Well, it seems as though we've now gotten the catalyst to help break through this ceiling, and we'll see now if we can get some nice movement up towards the 1.589 area or even a little bit higher than there. So bullish bias, looking to get long on some pullbacks. So that is the uh, scenario, the synopsis for what we're looking at here right now. As I said, we'll update it with some future videos as the dust begins to settle and we see the full extent of uh, where we're going to be going. But as always, guys, follow the trend. Don't fight it. Wait for your setups. Be patient. Be disciplined. And of course, be confident and the money will come. Trust the process and the money will come. So until the next video, be, uh, be careful, be safe, and if you have any questions, you can always uh, ask them in the comment section below. Email me, kurt at pristine.com, and I would be happy to get back to you. But until the next time, guys, as I said before, be patient, be disciplined, and be confident. We'll talk to you soon.